music exists in this world between consonants and uh, interruption. So it goes back and forth between these two things. In that course, we talked about how you can mess with the music's timing to create a sense of interruption. In this course, we're going to talk about interrupting the harmony. Once again, we're going to use our chords and arpeggios from Minor Swing as an example. You don't necessarily need any fancy scales or anything like that to make this music happen. Here's our A minor chord. What can we do with that A minor chord to interrupt it a little bit? Why would we even want to interrupt that A minor chord? It sounds so nice. By creating an interruption, it can create some momentum in the music. An interruption in the harmony of the music is called dissonance. It works like this. If you're all the way over here on the dissonance side, you might start to crave some more consonants, which is the opposite. As I said in the course on syncopation, if you're over here on the consonant side for too long, it can get kind of boring. Dissonance has the power to make you crave consonants. How can we add some dissonance to what we're doing here with the arpeggios? If we take this A minor chord and change one note, we can create some dissonance. What if I did this? Instead of playing, I took this note and moved it down one half step, that's one fret down, and let's see what happens. Well, that note is so close, it's almost the first note of the arpeggio. It's like... It creates a little interruption, and then... It gives us the consonants. So we get a little bit of dissonance by starting a half step lower. 